In today's video we're gonna be looking at the Mono DM30 USB gaming microphone so without further ado let's proceed with the unboxing. And that's the whole content of the box, so together with the Mono DM30 itself you get this funny looking microphone stand which comes pre-attached and you also get an accessory box which contains a USB cable and a user manual which I strongly recommend you to go through, especially if you are not that tech savvy. Now if you have been watching my channel for a while you might remember I previously reviewed a Mono microphone which you can check out right here. It was the PM461S and the thing is I wasn't really impressed by it and like I mentioned in that video there were so many things that could have been improved and now having this microphone in front of me it almost feels like Mono went and had a look through my video wrote down all my suggestions and came out with this the DM30 like hey Paul we made this microphone specially for you hope you're happy with it yeah that would be great but the thing is this mic is a huge improvement compared to the last one i reviewed and let me show you why first of all the case is made of all metal and this matte black gives it that stylish premium look and since this mic was designed as a gaming microphone you can now choose from three other different colors like purple white or a pink one so it blends better with your gaming setup on top of it there is a three in one digital knob which i believe is pretty unique or at least i haven't seen it on other models before so when this indicator light is green it means that the microphone is plugged in power sufficiently and unmuted and if you press on it the indicator light turns red and the microphone is now muted also what this knob actually does is increase or decrease the sensitivity of your microphone's capsule but like I mentioned there is a third feature as well so if you long press on it for a few seconds the indicator light turns blue and you can now adjust the volume of your headphones which takes me to the next feature I want to talk to you about at the bottom of this microphone there is a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack socket which allows you to monitor the quality of your sound in real time without any echo so you know exactly what you sound like the USB-C port allows you to connect the mic to your computer and what would this gaming microphone be without the RGB lights Oh yeah, if you press this button right here, the magic happens. So you can select from one dynamic multicolor gradient or seven other solid color effects like candy red, orange peel, bumblebee yellow, lone green, sky blue, police officer blue, and my favorite, the purple haze. The microphone stand is made out of metal and this platform at the bottom is quite heavy actually and it also has these non-slip silicone pads attached to it so when you place it on your desk it almost feels like it sticks to the surface but if you feel like this is not suitable for your intended use you can unscrew it and attach the microphone to a boom arm and you can also rotate the mic 300 degrees for the best recording angle by using this adjustable knob Bear in mind that the Mono DM30 has a cardioid polar pattern which means that the area in front of the mic is the most sensitive and as you go on the size the picked up signal gets significantly decreased till it almost reaches a dead spot behind the mic. So when you set up the position you need to make sure that the gain knob or this Mono logo is facing towards you otherwise it won't work properly. But enough of this let's get to some actual sound testing. Now I'm not going to do the classic test and read out loud phrases instead I'm going to connect the microphone to my PC and I'll show you why. I am recording right now using the Mono DM30. Please note this will be raw unedited sound 
The reason why I chose to do this is because I want to show you this really cool software from Mono which comes with the microphone. Now I personally do all the sound editing in Premiere Pro after I finish recording but if you are not familiar with all these editing softwares and you purchase the microphone for streaming then this is the perfect tool for you. Once you open the Mono Link software you will see there are two tabs to choose from a standard and an advanced one and from here you can control all the basic stuff that you can do with the buttons placed on the actual microphone like the gain level, the headphone volume or the RGB lights but at the same time you have a few more options like this slider right here which allows you to adjust the brightness of the RGB light or you can select from these four different tones which are basically like some equalizer presets so you have natural which is basically the sound of the microphone as it is without any tweaking and you have a deep one which decreases some of the low frequency sounds you have a bright one which increases some of the high frequency sounds and finally there's the legacy one which basically decreases the low and high frequency sounds in order to get a warmer voice. So you can play with them and find whichever suits you best. But the fun stuff comes on the advanced tab. Again, you have four equalizer presets, so you can choose from flat, which delivers the original sound, the high pass filter, which reduces the low frequency noises like your computer fans or the mouse and keyboard clicks. You then have present boost, which increases the mid frequency vocal and instrument sound or a combination of both high pass filter and present boost. So you just need to find whichever works best for you based on on what you use the microphone for or the room you are recording in and at the bottom you have two more options which I find really really cool there is a limiter and a compressor which are very similar and at the same time very different I know this is technical stuff which is quite hard to understand unless you have a lot to do with sound processing but to put this simple let's say the limiter keeps the maximum volume from going past a set point it controls the peak level of the sound in order to prevent distortion caused by high volume while a compressor reduces the level between the loudest and the quietest part of the audio signal which gives a more consistent sound to put this into perspective perspective if you are the guy that does a lot of shouting and screaming while playing games this will prevent you from blowing off the eardrums of your gaming bodies to make a quick recap i really like this microphone for the way it is built for that premium feeling you get while using it the color choice is quite interesting and this three in one digital knob is brilliant these RGB lights are not a deal breaker, at least for me personally, but it's a nice touch for whoever is looking for a gaming microphone. But most of all, I like this attention to all the small details, like this logo right here on the microphone stand, or even this USB cable, which I didn't say anything about it. The thing is, I tested many other microphones that were released over the last year, and many of them are still using mini USB or micro USB ports, so having a mic that works with an USB-C cable is a huge improvement in my opinion and if you look at the cable again you will see the attention to small details I was talking about like this adapter at the other end which allows you to use either the USB-C port or if you are using an older PC you can switch to an USB-A or these tiny logos right here you know small details that make a good impression even the way this end is angled to 90 degrees so it applies less pressure onto the USB port and cable in order to achieve a longer lifespan. And to be honest there really isn't anything I would change to the Mono DM30. Maybe this microphone stand which I don't particularly like because 
it still picks up the taps and bangs on your desk but this is not something that would make me want to buy another microphone over this one and like I mentioned earlier you can always detach this platform at the bottom of the microphone stand and attach it to a boom arm if you are looking to buy this microphone I'll leave a link in the description below I am an Amazon associate which means I get to earn a tiny commission from that sale so if you're planning to purchase one please do it from there you get the mic at no extra cost while showing your support for this channel and if you are interested in seeing a more entry-level microphone with a great value for money check out my previous video where I reviewed the Mono PM461S.